Good morning, my beloved friends at Beth Page, my brothers and sisters, my siblings in Christ. I am very glad we can be together this morning. Even though this is a little strange, we're doing it a little differently. We're not together in the same space. Uh, but you are where you are, and I am where I am, which is my home. Welcome to my home, my living room. This is my favorite chair. This is my favorite corner in my living room. Connie mentioned to me that the fifth Sunday is usually a casual Sunday. So when I was thinking, how am I going to work this out? I thought, well, should I run up to Amity, which is just I, with, within walking distance of my house, about three quarters of the mile up the street? Should I take my laptop and try to do something from the sanctuary? And then I thought, no, it's casual Sunday. It's a little different time. Let's just sit here and talk together. Let's be together. Now, it is a little different. We know that we are not together in the same space, but I'm glad, I'm very grateful for this technology that we have, laptop computers and technology where I can record this for you at home and that we can upload this and we can see this together. We can be together. And I want to remind us and let's rest assured that the scriptures tell us that where two or three are gathered in the name of God, God will be with them. So God is with us indeed, even though we are not in the same space, even though I'm recording this at one time and you may all be seen at another time. Rest assured that our God can transcend the boundaries of space and time, can transcend those distances, and indeed God is with us. Our Book of Order also reminds us where there is meeting and proclamation of the gospel. We've gathered for that. God is with us. So, my beloved friends, God is with us. Now, I am not always quite used to this technology, so I may have to stop. I may have to reach over and hit the pause button every now and then, or there may be some little technical difficulties that I have to adjust to. I just ask your indulgence, your patience, as sometimes I may have to pause and make a little transition. We are here together. Now, we're not doing a full worship service, so do let me tell you a little bit about how I'd like to proceed this morning. Connie just asked me to do a message, but in doing the message, of course, we want to read the scriptures, and then I want to do the sermon. But I want to start out by having time with our children, as we normally do, because our book of order reminds us that whenever we gather for worship, everyone, age, everyone, by age or no matter what, we should all be included. So just as we normally do, I'd like to start by including our children. Then we'll um, read the scriptures for the day, and then we'll do the sermon, and then I'd like for us to have a brief prayer. So that's sort of our order of the day. So please bear with me as we begin and throughout this whole process. So I want to have a little special time with our younger friends, so I hope that you're all watching. You can gather around here in front of your uh, laptop, your television, your computer, however you're able to see me. And let's just talk for a minute. I am glad to be with you all. I really am. Now, I know that this is a very different time. It's a strange time because we're having to stay inside a lot because you probably have heard that there's some sickness going around and some people are sick. So we need to stay inside so that we take care of ourselves and that we make sure that they get taken care of and so that anybody who is sick doesn't pass that on to another person. So we're doing the right thing, even though it may seem a little strange. But I believe you can all, uh, I believe we're all up to the challenge. Now, I get to go outside. Um, I go for a walk around my neighborhood. And I also go out in my yard and I see the beautiful flowers in my yard that are growing right now. I love spring. Now, even though we can't play with our friends, we can still see them on the street and we can wave to them. I wave to my friends when I see them in my neighborhood or as I'm walking around, but we all have to make sure we stay six feet apart from each other. So six feet, um, think of th six big giant steps. So if you see a friend in your neighborhood, make sure you stay at least six big giant steps away. And that keeps you from getting sick and that keeps them from getting sick. So one of the things I know that we might be worrying about is right now, this is an odd time. We don't get to play with, play with our friends or we don't get to gather at our church the way we normally do. 
But isn't it nice? Isn't it wonderful that we can still gather like this, that we can be together uh, by uh, looking at each other over this computer? Isn't that amazing? And so we know that God's with us and we always give thanks and we give thanks for our church and we give thanks for God. And we are so glad for all the wonderful things that are happening, even though there are some odd things in the world. We know that there are still some wonderful things and that God is always in charge. That's what I want you to remember. God's always in charge. We're all going to be okay because God loves us. Now, how do we know that God loves us? Well, we know because the Bible tells us. We know because we read the Bible. We know because we learn this at our church. And we know because our mommies and daddies tell us this. And we know through because Jesus. We know because what we know about Jesus and the stories that we know of Jesus. And Jesus, even though we can't see him, we know that he's with us. And we know that we can pray to him and we can ask him for things. And we know that he loves us and he's looking down on us at all times. And Jesus is taking care of us. Now, I found this great story that I think is just wonderful today for today. And I found this in my church library. And it's in a book called Favorite Stories of Jesus. So I want to read this to you really quick. So I invite you to just listen and see about this wonderful story about Jesus. And it's about Jesus who was taking care of a little girl who was sick. So I thought, okay, we're all maybe a little worried about people who are sick, or maybe that we're worried that we might get sick, but we know that Jesus will take care of us. So here, this I'm going to read this story. Jesus and a sick child. There was a man named Jairus, and Jairus pushed his way through the crowd, and he was almost running Here's a picture of him. Look, he's running and he's pushing his way through the crowd. And he looked very tired and very worried. He just had to find Jesus. He had to find him right now. Now, Jairus was an important man in the town where he lived. And the people liked him and they listened whenever he spoke. But as he came hurrying towards Jesus, Jairus didn't look like an important man. He was in trouble. And he really, really needed Jesus. Please, please, he called out as he was near enough to be heard. Please come help me. Please come help me. My little girl is very sick. And the doctors say they can't help her. Jairus wiped the dust from his face. You know, Jesus. Jesus, you know how to help sick people. Please, please come help. See, here's the picture. Here's the picture of Jairus, and he's begging, oh, please come help. He's asking Jesus. Here's a picture of Jesus and another man, and he's, Jairus is saying, please come help my sick little girl. But then, just then, some people came looking for Jairus, and they said, oh, Jairus, don't trouble Jesus. Don't trouble Jesus to come over and help right now. No one can help the little girl right now. And Jairus was afraid. He thought maybe his little girl had died, and he was very sad. But Jesus put his hand on Jairus' shoulder, and he said, Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid, Jairus. Don't be afraid. I'll come. And Jesus turned uh, with Jairus, and Jairus turned quickly toward his home with Jesus by his side. And when they came to Jairus' house, there were many friends and relatives of the family. They had all gathered, too. And a lot of them were crying because they were very sad that the little girl was sick. And they thought maybe she had died. And Jesus spoke to them, and he said, don't cry. The child isn't dead. But they didn't believe him. See, here are the people all gathered at Jairus' house. And see, some of them are sad and crying. And here's Jesus with Jairus. And Jesus says, it's okay, don't cry. And then Jesus told the people to stay outside because he knew that a lot of crying people around weren't going to help anything. They were going to be in the way right then. And Jesus went with the mommy and the daddy. They went with Jairus and his wife. They went into the little girl's room. 
Oh, and they saw her lying there and how still she looked. She was lying so still. And Jesus went close to the bed. She's lying so still. And Jesus went close to the bed. And he looked down at her. And he looked down at her with love. He loved her. And he thought of the mommy and the daddy. And he thought about how sad they were. And Jesus thought about God who loved them all. And he wanted them to be well and to be happy. And he knew that God was there with them. And Jesus took the little girl's hand in his and he spoke gently. And he said, child, child, wake up, wake up. See, here's the picture of Jesus taking the little girl's hand in his. And he's saying, child, wake up. And then the little girl opened her eyes and she saw the kind face of Jesus. And she knew that he was helping her and she felt better. And she saw her mommy and her daddy and she smiled at them and then she spoke up and she said, you know what, I'm a little hungry. And she was okay. She was a little hungry. And then the mommy and the daddy ran to her and they put their arms around her. And then they looked at Jesus and their faces were full of wonder. And they had thought that their child was dead, but now they knew. They knew that she was alive. They knew she was okay. And they thought, oh, Jesus, how Jesus loved people. How much he helped people. And they were so glad. And they tried to speak, but they were so overcome. They were so happy that they were overcome with emotion. So Jesus smiled at them and he said, give the little girl something to eat. And then he slipped away and he left the little girl with her mommy and daddy. See? Here's a picture of the little girl with her mommy and daddy. And they're all happy and the little girl's okay. And there was Jesus at the door leaving. So what do we know then? Jesus is always with us. Jesus is always here to help. And we can always ask God for help. And Jesus loves us. So let's pray together. Please fold your hands and close your eyes and let's say a prayer. Dear Jesus, thank you for loving us. Thank you for all the wonderful things you've given us. Thank you for being with us, Jesus, and help us to trust you and love you. Please help people who are sick and people who are sad. And please help us to know that you always love us. Thank you, Jesus. We love you too. Amen. Thank you. Okay, now here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna pause for a second and I'm gonna ask the children, you can go ahead and go back to wherever you are going. If you wanna stay and watch the uh, sermon, ask mommy and daddy, that's okay too. And then for everybody else, there's going to be a brief pause, and then I'm going to come back and I'm going to read the scriptures, and then we'll do the sermon together.